Chapter 23 Then Job spoke again. My complaint today is still a bitter one, and I try hard not to groan aloud. If only I knew where to find God, I would go to his throne and talk with him there. I would lay out my case and present my arguments. Then I would listen to his reply and understand what he says to me. Would he merely argue with me in his greatness? No, he would give me a fair hearing. Fair and honest people can reason with him, so I would be acquitted by my judge. I go east, but he is not there. I go west, but I cannot find him. I do not see him in the north, for he is hidden. I turn to the south, but I cannot find him. But he knows where I am going, and when he has tested me like gold in a fire, he will pronounce me innocent. For I have stayed in God's paths. I have followed his ways and not turned aside. I have not departed from his commands, but have treasured his word in my heart. Nevertheless, his mind concerning me remains unchanged, and who can turn him from his purposes? Whatever he wants to do, he does. So he will do for me all he has planned. He controls my destiny. No wonder I am so terrified in his presence. When I think of it, terror grips me. God has made my heart faint. The Almighty has terrified me. Darkness is all around me. Thick, impenetrable darkness is everywhere. 